People, now we're going on to very, very important work. We are going to have a look at longitudinal and cross profiles. Longitudinal and cross profiles. Now, it's very, very important, people. You've got to listen to what I've got to say now. These two, they usually ask as definitions of concepts in the exams. You must know what is a longitudinal profile and you must know what is a cross profile. Very important. Now, here I've got the definition is the side view of a river from source to mouth. Now, people, I just want to show you what happened in the exams last year. This, this question they actually asked in the exam. What, what uh, uh, student, uh, students would write, uh, uh, learners would write is, it's a river from source to mouth. They won't, you won't get any ma marks there. Or they would say, it's a side view of a river. People, this, you must give the full definition of, the, of, of, of this concept. Is the side view of a river from source to mouth. You can't only say oh, the side view of a river. There are many side views that you can have. You also can't say uh, a river from source to mouth. It must be a side view of the river. So please, my people, take note. Very, very important that you must know how to answer or define your concepts here. Now, what's very important, there's the source, there's the mouth, and what did we say? A longitudinal profile runs from the source to the mouth, and because it's very high here, because it's very steep, here you're going to have your fast flowing, your turbulent, can you remember in our previous discussion of laminar and turbulent? Here you're going to have your turbulent flow. Here you're going to have less uh, 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 turbulence. Here you're going to have more your laminar type of flow. Okay, why? Because it's very gradual and it's slow moving. Okay, so please remember people, you must know your longitudinal and cross uh, profiles. Now, what is a cross or a transverse profile people? That is the shape of the river valley from one bank to the opposite bank. So if, you are, if here's a river and you are standing on the one side and your friend is standing on the other side and you can draw a profile from where you are standing from the one bank through the river to your friend on the other side, that would be your cross section of the river. So please, people, please, they usually ask these very important definitions. Okay, see that you're in a position to define your, your, your longitudinal prof uh, pro uh, profile and please, people, I want the perfect definition. Okay, not half. Uh, half of the information that you've given, you're not, not going to get the marks. Actually, the cross profile is much easier to, uh, uh, to define. But please, when it comes to the longitudinal profile, see that you give the real definition as accurately as, accurately as possible. Okay, so now, people, what's very important is that we are going to have a look at the longitudinal profile of a river. Now, if you have a look at the longitudinal profile, you must know that a river uh, you find uh, is, you've got three causes, the upper course, the middle course and the lower course. And this river runs then uh, here from the mountains right through to the sea. Now, okay, let's have a look at um, the characteristics of these the courses. The course of a river comprises of three distinct parts. First is the upper or the mountain course where the river originates. Here, the velocity of the water is faster due to the steep gradient. The floor of the valley is narrow and the valleys are V-shaped. Second is the middle or the valley course where floors are wider and the sides of the valley are more gently sloping. Here, the velocity of the river is slower than the upper stage. Meanders are typical landforms found in this stage of the river. The third part of the river is the lower course which has a gentle slope and is almost flat. The river channel is usually at its widest and deepest here because the amount of water flowing within the river is at its greatest. Okay, now um, about 15 minutes ago, um, somebody asked me a question here. I see there on the computer, uh, what is a meander? I purposely didn't ask that question because I wanted to come to this slide uh, where I could answer it very well, now, uh, much better. Now, if you, if you have a look at this uh, uh, picture here, the meander is just nothing else than a bend in the river, okay? With the river flows straight, that's fine, but as soon as you've got a bend in the river, then that is called a meander. Okay, a meander is a river bend. Okay, right, let's have a look. Uh, 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 go. Now, what happened now, people? We showed you a, a video clip of longitudinal and cross profiles. Let's just see what 
have they said? What, uh, what was this video clip all about? It had to do with the three parts, the, 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 the upper course, the middle course, and the, and the lower course. Now, let's have a look at this. The first thing is the upper course, right? The upper course is, is steep, uh, it's fast flowing, downward erosion, and um, we, there we usually get our waterfalls, rapids, and interlocking spurs. Now what I'm doing now, people, I'm just, I'm just summarizing what was said in the video clip. And then the middle course, uh, of, uh, the, the, the cross profile would look something like this, from the one river bank to the other river bank, okay? Right, now the second one would be our middle course. Now you look at the middle course, uh, of course, uh, the slope is much more uh, gradual. It will be a slower flow. And what happens now, just look at the difference. Here we get downward erosion. Here we get lateral or sideways erosion. Because in the, in, in the first stage here in the upper course, it was blocked in here by the mountain and, the, and, and, and couldn't go sideways. And now as the, as the river exits the mountain here, immediately the erosion can move sideways as well. So we've got uh, 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 lateral erosion there. And of course, here we've also got your meanders that we've got here. Have a look at the meanders. Of course, if you can remember, you would know that your meander is nothing else than an ordinary uh, river bend. And then, of course, we've also got our, our spurs there. Now, please, people, remember uh, that the spur is a high-lying area between two rivers, okay? A spur is a high-lying area between uh, 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 rivers. Not like somebody in the exams where they asked what was a spur. So the student wrote that uh, a spur is people with a taste for life. So please people uh, see that to give the correct geographical uh, uh, definitions when they ask you to do so. Okay, so that would be the middle course. Uh, the last one, this would be the cross section. I'm coming back to the cross section now again. This would be the lower course. Now your lower course is almost flat. Have a look at that, right? Um, and the water flows, because it's very flat, the, the water flows very, very slowly. And you're going to have deposition here. Have a look at here. Here we had downward erosion. Here we had lateral or erosion towards the side. And here we have deposition. You must know the processes, people. Okay? And what will we find here? Oxbow lakes, deltas, meanders, marshes, braided streams, and sandbanks. I'm coming back to that uh, again uh, later on during the course of the afternoon. And this, people, is what the cross, cross profile will look like. Now, what I want to show you now is have a look at this cross profile here and this one in the middle course and that one in the, in the, in the lower course. And people, what you, what you must notice is the following, that if you look at the cross prof profile in the, in, the, in the upper course, then the V of the uh, 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 valley-shaped valley would be very narrow. Okay? Have a look at that. As it goes to the middle course, then the V opens up a little bit. And if you ever look at the lower course, then the cross profile would actually be at its widest there. So please remember these things. It all has to do here with the fact that you've got lateral erosion towards the side. That's why it's getting broader. And here it's much uh, uh, slower. And this channel of the river is getting broader and broader all the time. So, people, if I must just uh, quickly summarize what we've done now with regard to longitudinal and, uh, and, and, and cross profiles, and I would definitely suggest that you do something like this, people. Take your, uh, uh, um, have a look at your textbook, have a look at your notes, and see if you can summarize your longitudinal and cross profiles like this. People, if you know this, there are very few questions that you cannot answer. Have a look at this. Here we've got the cross profile. That is what it looks like in the upper course. That's what it looks like in the middle course. That is what it looks like in the, in the uh, lower course. Have a look at the features and the processes that we've got here. The features, it's very steep there, right? And because it's steep, it flows faster. And that is why we've got downward erosion. You see the link between the three there. Here again, look at this. Look at the link. Gradual slope. It flows slower. And now we've got our lateral, uh, lateral erosion. Look at this again. Also the three things. It's almost, almost totally flat there. The row is flowing very, very slowly. And because it flows slowly, it cannot transport the material. And we get the material that will be deposited uh, there in the, in the lower course. Now, if you ever look at the, at the landforms that we find in your different courses, in your, in your upper course, we find your waterfalls, uh, rapids, and spurs, right? Here we also find in the middle course, the river will start to meander or bend. 
And here we find the, 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 the spurs, here we find sandbanks, marshes, braided stream, and, um, and here we've got an oxbow, uh, oxbow lake, right? And that's very important, people, you must also know that here we'll get our turbulent flow, and down here we will get our, our laminar uh, flow. Uh, your question came through here on a steep slope. Why don't we find a, a laminar flow? Uh, then we've answered the question to you. The slope is, is very steep, and what happens is the water runs off very fastly, and you get this turbulent movement of the, of the water. Okay, so this, people, have a look at the summary again, yeah? And uh, what you must do, actually, I want to give you some homework tonight. If you haven't done something, you haven't got something like that in your book yet, go and summarize your longitudinal and, 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 and cross uh, uh, profiles. Very, very important that you must be in a position to... To, uh, to have a look at, 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 at that. So people, that is your longitudinal and cross profiles. But as I've said in our, uh, when I started off the session, I said that uh, your topo maps are very important. Okay, so let's have a look of, of, of these different causes in what it looks like in, uh, on a topographic uh, map. Here's the upper cause or the Young River as it's also known. Now have a look at this. Immediately you see lots of brown here. Now, in the upper course, of course, look, the contours are very close to each other. In other words, it will be steep. And because it's steep, it's going to be fast-flowing. Because it's fast-flowing, downward erosion. And they see how close these contours are, uh, are to each other. So you can expect your, rap uh, your waterfalls, your rapids, because your, 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 uh, uh, um, your contours are close to each other. It's very steep. And those are the landforms that you will find there. So please, people, remember, you must be in a position to identify a river in, a, in, in what course ever. Remember, a very popular question in the exams is you, uh, they give you a topographic map and they ask you, in what course is the river? Give a reason for your answer. There's it. Okay. So that's the upper course. Let's see what it looks like in the middle course. Here we've got the middle course or the mature river that we've, uh, that, that we've got here. Um, here we've got the Easter, Easter River uh, running here. Now, what's very important, the first thing that you notice is that it has exited the, the mountain. Okay, we don't see any high mountains here. We, actually, it's much more gradual. Look at the contours. If you, must, if you must compare it with the previous one, look at all the brown there. See how close the contours are, are to each other. And immediately, if you go down to the, to the mature river, there you see immediately the first thing that you notice is that it's much more gradual. In fact, uh, 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 look at all the, uh, all the farming activities uh, that, we've, that we find along the, uh, along the, the river. It's a nice valley uh, that we've got here. Uh, lateral erosion is becoming wider. Again, have a look at the rivers here, and immediately you only see it's in, in, in a very thin pencil line. That is how the rivers have been drawn in there. And compared to that, immediately the rivers um, uh, are a bit wider, and immediately you also notice that this river is starting to uh, develop river bends uh, that way and, 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 and uh, your meanders that are formed uh, there. Okay, uh, have a look at your lower course. And if you look at your lower course, the first thing you notice here is that uh, here's no contours, right? This means this whole area is, is level, as I've, I've been, uh, written here, so uh, right across the map here. So this area is very le uh, level. The mouth of the river, have a look at that. It's, it, there's the sea, it's, it's the mouth. Marshes that we've got here. All right? Look at the broad flood plain. See, the river is even broader here as well in comparison with the, with, the, with the previous one. Here we've got huge meanders here and even braided streams, sandbanks. Why have we got sandbanks here? Because the river is flowing so slow that is the, the, the sand is being deposited here. So you must, people, be, be in a position. This is very important, that I'm t uh, uh, the thing that I'm telling you now. You must be in a position to identify your upper course, the middle course, and the lower course on your topographic map.